guys, welcome back to this channel. Nice to see you again. And today we we'll talk about topic 5.3, preparation of alcohol. Very, very short video because it's extremely simple. It's something that you have learned before. Just want to remind you how can we prepare alcohol. So we have two methods of preparing alcohol. The first one is the fermentation of carbohydrate or fermentation of sugar to be exact. The second one is the hydration of alkenes that you have learned in the alkenes topic 3. Alright, so it's going to be a short, simple video. Let's jump into the first preparation of alcohol straight away. Fermentation of carbohydrate is a very simple method. We are actually using the sugar in your carbohydrate, that is my sugar with the presence of yeast, and then you will be able to produce your ethanol. We use this process a lot in your cooking to produce some food, okay? So it's an extremely simple method to produce your ethanol. It's by using your sugar with the presence of your yeast, and then you get your ethanol over the time, okay? Next method to prepare alcohol, is the hydration of alkenes that you have learned in your topic 3. So hydration of alkene is you have the presence of your carbon-carbon double bond and then you are going to add in your H2O and H+. And by using this acidified water, you will be adding in your H plus and OH- into the carbon-carbon double bond that we know the type of reaction is electrophilic addition of alkenes. So the electrophilic means the H plus will be the first person that added into the carbon-carbon double bond. So look at your carbon-carbon double bond on the product right now. All right, which carbon having more hydrogen already? This is the carbon that having more hydrogen. This is the carbon that get the OH. Why the hydrogen is added to the carbon on this side? Because Mark Konikov rule stated that the electrophile must be added to the carbon in the carbon-carbon double bond that have more hydrogen. So this carbon in the carbon-carbon double bond right now having more hydrogen. Therefore, this carbon will get the electrophile H+, vice versa, another carbon will get the OH, Minus. So this is something that you have learned previously in your alkenes where we are using the acidified water, adding in the electrophile H plus and also the OH minus into the carbon-carbon double bond according to Markovnikov rules. Simple. And look at it guys, you are producing your alcohol over here. So this is the method that we will use a lot to prepare alcohol. Okay, simple. Just some extra addition over here. What class of alcohol is this? This is the carbon that holding the OH. Therefore, this carbon is a tertiary carbon. Look at it. As a result, this will be a tertiary alcohol. Okay. And that's it for preparation of alcohol. We are not learning anything more than these two methods. You'll be only coming across these two methods. And that's it for preparation of alcohol. I told you it's a simple short video. If you are not getting this method, please rewatch the video of topic three about alkenes again. All right. And thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel.